Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Acre Homestead. It is Monday morning and it is dreary outside. I feel like we've been kind of cooped up in the house a little bit too long. And so I need to do some grocery shopping. And I thought it would be fun if you came along and we got some grocery shopping done together. Now I need to do grocery shopping for just Josh and I's groceries. But this weekend we are celebrating Thanksgiving with Josh's family. Yes, I know that is very early to celebrate Thanksgiving, but all of his family is gonna be in town. And so we are gonna be able to celebrate as a whole family. And it's not about the day we celebrate the holiday, it's about when we can all be together. And so that is what we're gonna do. And I'm responsible for three or four, one dessert, and two side dishes and one appetizer. So I need to get groceries for that. And then the following weekend, I am hosting a Friendsgiving at my house. And I really wanna pick up some holiday decor. I've been watching Jessica O'Donohue's YouTube channel, and she's really been inspiring me to put a little bit more effort into decorating for the holidays. My mom always does a fantastic job decorating for all the seasons, and I've never, been that into it if you watched last year I do like little tiny things here and there and I don't want to go huge but I do want to create a really cozy and welcoming environment for my friends giving so I thought it'd be fun if we ran maybe into Target or Home Goods, and I want to get a couple things to create a beautiful tablescape for the party that we're gonna be having at our house in two weeks so without further ado let's go inside on this day, it is actually Halloween, and we are going to enjoy seeing a bunch of people dressed up in costumes, and I love coming to Costco. It always feels like a fun treat to me. I have very fond memories of going to Costco with my mom when I was young, and it was kind of like a date we would go on. And look at this. The first thing right when you walk in is this really cool, fun wine advent calendar. I think maybe if they have this next year, that is definitely something that I want to try. Costco always puts their Sonicare and their Oral-B toothbrushes on sale at the holidays. So if you don't have electric toothbrush, go get yourself an electric toothbrush at Costco right now because it is the best price. And electric toothbrushes are awesome. Oh wow, look at this. This is a really pretty knife set. I was gifted in my P.O. box a really beautiful Cutco white knife. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. And I thought that this set that they had at Costco was really pretty. And it was on sale for $1.19. And they had just some really fun gift ideas. We got my mother-in-law this Aurora picture frame for Mother's Day last year. And we all in the family can add pictures to it. And it's just been a really fun gift and it was on sale as well today. And then I am not a fake Christmas tree person, but this Christmas tree I thought was really, really beautiful. Are you a real Christmas tree or a fake Christmas tree person? I normally am a real Christmas tree 100% all the way, but this tree with these white lights looks really realistic and it's beautiful. It's normally $4.99 and is on sale right now for $3.99, so it's $100 off. I definitely, we will be getting a real Christmas tree this year, but I really like that one. I think it's really beautiful. We live in the Pacific Northwest though, so uh, Christmas trees are relatively affordable in our area. Oh, these are nice. They have some hoodies here. $12.99, they're $5 off, and they've got quite a few different colors. I like this kind of like gray mauve color. It's really pretty some cozy winter pajamas. I need to get some pajamas at some point. Have you all seen that reel that's going around that's, you know you're at that age when you start buying clothes at the same place you buy your groceries? I am guilty of that. I definitely buy quite a bit of my clothes at Costco. Oh, these are beautiful. See, I need some different serving dishes for holiday things and I'm all about white and not themed dishes because then you can use them for any occasion. For a set of four of these bowls, they are $9.99. They were originally $15.99 and they are on sale right now. Hmm, that is something to consider for sure. They also have some wine glasses, which I, I don't have any wine glasses right now. We've been using mason jars for wine glasses because I have broken so many <laughs> over the years that I just had a bunch of mismatched wine glasses. 
so I donated them when we moved and these are a set of eight for $19.99 so they are really affordable they're a pretty shape too hmm should I get those not that I can drink wine right now that's the thing and we just saw that really cool um, wine advent calendar so one thing we need for our bathrooms are some bath mats and some towels so we're gonna see what they have at Costco and if they don't have what we're looking for here then we will get them at Target or home goods wherever we end up going they still have my favorite dish towels this is what I bought the last two times and I'm loving them they have right now for $14.99 some Christmas ones which are really festive and cute and they even have like these neutral ones that aren't super bright I don't need any right now but I do think those little gnomes are cute and I do need shower curtains for our guest bathroom we don't have any shower curtains around that guest bathtub yet and for $14.99 you can get two bath mats a shower curtain the hooks and the plastic liner but the problem is because that the way the bathtub is it's so big and it has one of those um, metal things that go around the top so I need two shower curtains so this isn't gonna work for me but that is a really good price on that and the only other option they have right now for bath mats are these bath mats and they're really big but they are $34.99 and I think I can get a better price at Target I'm in the market for towels as well and they have a really great deal right now on these ones they are <laughs> $4 off but they only have this color right here and I like towels that don't have this band on them because when you wash them this part always seems to shrink and then it they don't ever lay flat anymore or flush so this is another option right here that I really like and it, it doesn't have that band on it and I like this gray color see how this doesn't have that part that cinches in right here but they're $11.99. I have not bought towels in a long time. Josh and I first bought towels. They were white when we got married and they were very nice quality towels and they've lasted a really long time, but they're just not white anymore. So I don't know if I wanna, I really like this color and this pattern on these, but I don't know if I wanna spend, cause I would need to get like six or eight of them that much on towels right now. I think we're gonna wait on those towels but I really like them. I would get these if they had a different color in these because it's kind of a cool texture. I've never seen a towel like this before. And then on the inside, it's your like traditional terry cloth towels, but for $6. So we're not making any progress with towels or bath mats here. So we will probably end up running to Costco. Let's go see what else we can find. When I was in Virginia and we stayed at that Airbnb, the bed had flannel sheets on it and it was super cozy. So I want to see if they have any flannel sheets here today that I want to put on our bed. I don't want patterns though. I want <laughs> no bears for us. Maybe something that's just like gray or white. I bought these sheets once, they're $15.99 and I will never buy them again because they are 100% polyester. Didn't know anything about sheets and I will never buy polyester sheets again. They need to be 100% cotton because the dog hair and static on the polyester was just ugh, a no-go. So I'm not seeing any flannel sheets that don't have patterns on them today. Now this is cool. This is a three-piece comforter set. Look how soft that is. It's $69.99. Our comforter on our bed is also eight years old and it has seen better days, but we don't need to get comforter today, but that is a really cool one. I do need some new slippers. When we moved, all my slippers I kind of donated except for those leopard print ones that don't have a, they're like the sandal kind because they were all really old and stained. So they have some slippers. I usually get my slippers here at Costco. They have these ones here. They have these black ones and then they come in this kind of mauve color too. They are $13.99. At my house, I wear slippers 100% of the time and they tend to get a little bit grimy after a while because I do so much cooking in them that I spill on them. So I think going with a dark color might be the best option.
So one thing I know that I do need is a new coat this year, one that's gonna fit, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I have purchased coats from Costco many times. I like the long fluffy ones, or like down ones, you know? So let's see if they have them. Last time I was here about three weeks ago or a month ago, they did not have the long coats. Oh, it looks like they do. So it's $31.99 and I really like this green color, but I don't think they're gonna have the size that I need going into this winter. They have it in this gray color, but I'm not so sure about that gray color. So I found one that just might work. So we're gonna try it on and see what we think about it. I normally buy black coats and I have a gray coat, but this green color is really speaking to me. I think it's really, really pretty. And the cool thing about this green color is I feel like it is more of a neutral that I could wear it with a lot of what I already own because I don't wear a lot of color. I think I'm gonna go with it. I honestly think I should size up one more size, but they don't have it. So for $31.99, I really like the look of it. And I guess I just maybe won't be able to zip it in the next, I don't know, month or so. Or maybe I'll just end up returning it, I don't know. But I think we're gonna go with it. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. Now let's go get some groceries. I decided before we get groceries, let's go look down the like kitchenware aisle to see if there's any serving dishes or anything that I want to get down here for or baked baking supplies. They have some silicone mats right now which are always really nice. I have some of those so I don't need those but that is $14.99 so it's $5 off for a set of three it looks like. These are super cool, these Pyrex bowls with lids. They are only $14.99 for four bowls. I just got two sets of bowls with lids. Mine aren't snap lids, but that has been so nice. I had never owned those before. And so if you don't own any sort of like mixing bowl with a lid for $14.99, that is a steal on that. I love that. Oh, cool. They have a huge stock pot. <laughs> you all know I don't need another stock pot, but for 40 bucks, it is a 16 quart stock pot. Costco is coming good with all these baking equipment. For $10.99, you can get a set of three of Pyrex glass measuring dishes. I don't know how I never knew that there were a difference between a dry measure cup and a wet measure cup. Those are wet measure cups until you all informed me. And I just had no idea. And I don't own any of those glass ones. Maybe I should get them, but I don't think I'm going to today. I've never noticed that it affects my baking at all. Now this is really cool. It's $49.99 and it's this wooden shelf that you maybe would put in a bathroom or something. I don't need it. I have no use for it, but it's really pretty. And they also have these two different organizers. This kind of reminds me of the Ikea one. It's $39.99. That's really pretty. I am not in the market for those organizers right now, but I thought that wooden one was really pretty. I was trying to think of if there was a place I could put it, but I don't think so. So I think now let's go ahead and let's go look at some groceries. So they have this same tree in a 12 foot tall tree, which is incredible. It is so pretty. This one is $9.99, so it's $1,000. This one's $150 off. That's quite pricey for a tree, but it is really pretty. I am gonna come down the liquor aisle because I need to make some more vanilla extract. I am almost out. I only have one quart left, which is not enough because it has to sit for a good solid three months to six months before it infuses. And I will go through a quart of vanilla extract in that time. You can use either vodka or spiced rum or bourbon or honestly, whatever you want to make your own homemade vanilla. But my favorite is spiced rum. Costco is the cheapest place for me to buy it for $39.58. I can get a little bit of spiced rum and we can make a ton of vanilla extract. I find the spiced rum just gives it a little bit more flavor instead of the vodka, but some people prefer the vodka. My sister always uses vodka when she is making her vanilla extract. I didn't even attempt to grow sweet potatoes this year because I didn't want to take up the space. But I think this next year, maybe we should try growing sweet potatoes again. And I love sweet potatoes. 
into the produce refrigerator section we go. I did come into Costco with a list, so I know what I need, but a lot of times when I'm in the grocery store, I get inspired to make different recipes. One of the appetizers we are gonna be making for this Thanksgiving weekend is some cranberry salsa, so I'm gonna get some fresh cranberries. This is the sweet kale salad. I'm getting that as a convenience food, and tis the season for Brussels sprouts. We are gonna be eating a lot of Brussels sprouts from now until probably through winter because we love roasted Brussels sprouts. These mushrooms are inspiring me to make a recipe that I have not made in a long time. I thought this was pretty cool. This is roasted butternut squash that's already pre-diced. Definitely a convenience item that could make a weeknight dinner pretty easy. And then I have never seen ever at my Costco squash. So that was really exciting to see that now I could buy zucchini and summer squash at Costco. Now one thing that's super interesting that Costco does that I don't see on like regular grocery stores. So one thing I've just started doing and noticing at Costco is a lot of times it'll tell you when the product was packaged and where it was packaged. So this squash was packaged on October 18th, 2020 and today is October 31st. So when we're buying fresh produce from the grocery store, it's not always necessarily fresh. So that's one reason why if I can grow it myself, I would way rather because I could pick it and eat it the same day I picked it versus this has already been off the vine for a long time. I'm going to bring it home and it's not fresh. I mean, it's technically fresh, but that's a long time for it before it even gets to the store and then gets into my kitchen. I'm going to show you a couple other examples here of where it shows on Costco the package date and it just really hit home that when we think something is technically fresh it could already have been off the vine or out of the farm for a good solid two weeks before it even ends up at our grocery store and then we purchase it and bring it home and then maybe it sits in our refrigerator for a few days before we end up cooking it. Now I am going to continue to buy fresh produce throughout the fall and winter because I don't grow enough and preserve enough of my own in order to not do that but this just really enforces the idea that if I can grow something or preserve something at the height of ripeness then that's something that I would really like to do. And I will be doing a pantry challenge this year again, so obviously I won't be buying fresh produce when we do that. And we will be eating mostly our preserved produce, but I just thought it was really interesting because I had never noticed that before. And almost every single item at Costco that is a produce item has the package date on it. And it also says where it was grown. And one thing that's kind of cool right now is we know that apples are in season. And I honestly can't get enough of these Honeycrisp apples. They are so good. Do you like your bananas green or yellow? I like them yellow and I like to always have bananas in my freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. We don't always necessarily eat them fresh, but we like them in smoothies and things. And so I always try to keep a solid gallon bag of bananas in the freezer for that aspect, or if I wanna make banana bread or something. And I have no bananas in my freezer right now. Navel oranges when they are in season are one of my favorite things. And I noticed that these ones were from California. And I thought, you know what, maybe after looking in two boxes, they could have been maybe a little bit riper. So I decided to pass on them because it was such a big box. But I am super excited for citrus season coming up. Now, one thing I needed to get today is some chicken breasts. I normally buy most my chicken through Butcher Box, which I can link down below but I need to put in another order and I am completely out of chicken breast. And a bunch of you guys had given me the recommendation to use that extra cheese ball stuffing to stuff chicken breast. So I really wanted to do that. I thought about getting two of these packages, but I thought, you know what? Nope, let's just go ahead and get one so that we have some fresh chicken breast in order to make that recipe that you guys recommended. This is really cool over here. It looks like Costco basically has every single side dish and main you would need to pull together a Thanksgiving dinner. From pre-cooked turkeys to Brussels sprouts with pomegranates, your roasted veggies, your stuffing, cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, even down to your turkey gravy. I think that is an awesome option if you are unable to make your own, but the cool thing about us celebrating Thanksgiving so early is I will show you how to make 
almost all those items yourself. So if you want to try to attempt to make homemade, we can do it together this year. So for Friendsgiving, we don't do our traditional Friendsgiving meal every year. We like to have it themed. This year, the theme is going to be Italian and we are going to make butternut squash raviolis together for that party. And we're going to have tiramisu, which I've never made before. So we're going to attempt to make that. But if you want to purchase some, Costco has some raviolis that you can get. So one thing I love at Costco are the naans. I've never tried these mini ones before, but we made those tortillas together and they turned out so well that I've been thinking and contemplating attempting to make my own naan bread. I tried it once years and years ago and it did not turn out very good. So I'm thinking that if we were able to do a pretty good job on those tortillas, maybe we could do a better job this time on naan bread, make some curry together. I think one of the best buys you can get at Costco that makes your membership worth it is cheese. I do buy most of my cheese through Azure Standard because I can get organic cheese. But when you want some specialty cheeses or fancy cheeses, the price you cannot beat Costco compared to what I would spend if I bought this Parmesan cheese at my local Kroger store. There's these TikTok videos that are going around with this cheese where you make a pasta in the oven. They are normally $10.69 and they're $3 off right now. So they're $7.69. My sister said they're amazing. Have you guys tried this? Should we make something with this? I don't even know how to say that cheese. But then I have to get three of them. Hmm. This is interesting too for like a Thanksgiving appetizer. Creamy cranberry jalapeno dip for $8.59. One of the appetizers we're gonna be making together for Thanksgiving is a cranberry jalapeno salsa that you put over cream cheese and you eat it with crackers. So that's kind of like that, but it's like all mixed together. So that might be good. Now they don't have any more of my favorite, I used to get provolone salami packs for like a easy snack or breakfast. They don't um, have them anymore, which is kind of a bummer. They have these ones, but I don't like the salami on these ones as much and the cheese is not as good either. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pass on those. These are my new favorite pickles though. Oh my goodness, I already have some in the fridge or I would get them. I have never canned or made pickles before, so maybe this next year we should attempt that together, but those refrigerator pickles are phenomenal. How cool is this? You could get a whole prosciutto for $99.99. Think about how impressive that would be on the holiday table. My dream one day is to learn how to do that myself, make it, not cut it. So one day I wanna learn how to make prosciutto, but that day is not today. Now I went in there and I, in the dairy section, I had to get a couple things of dairy, and I thought this was interesting. All the eggs were limited to per person, and I wondered, I don't know why eggs are limited. Is there a short supply? I'm not sure. And then eggnog is in, and we will be making homemade eggnog. It's so easy. I will show you how to do that coming up. I have those silicone reusable Ziploc bags, and those are my new favorite thing, but I do think there is a time and place for just some plain Ziploc bags completely out of the sandwich ones. They are instant savings right now. So normally $13.99, they're on sale for $10.69. So I am gonna get a box of these. And then over here, I saw something really cool. If wine is not your thing, but you do enjoy some adult beverages, they have a Christmas beer advent calendar. I definitely am more of a wine person. I love beer, but not necessarily beer out of a can. I would prefer it to be on draft, but that is pretty cool. Something like that just sounds so fun to try new things and you're not invested in buying, you know, like a 12 pack or a six pack or a whole bottle of wine. You can just do a bunch of little tastings and kind of expand your palate without having to <laughs> invest in quite as big of a upfront in case maybe you don't like that type of beer or that wine. Let's see, do we need anything else in the household department area? I don't think so. Oh, laundry detergent's on sale too. $4 off, I really like this laundry detergent. It's, I have one at home, so I don't know. It's $4 off, so it's normally $14.99, and right now it's 
they have right now these really cute gingerbread houses to decorate. They are $13.99 for this kit. And it looks like it comes with some candy and the whole gingerbread. I have never made a gingerbread house before. Well, I've decorated gingerbread houses, but I've never like made the dough and cut it out and build it. And I think that would be something super fun this Christmas to kind of challenge myself and maybe we do that together. If you guys have any good recommendations or recipes for gingerbread, let me know. Now I'm just looking down all these Christmas chocolates and candies and it all looks so good but I don't need any of this stuff right now. I do wanna go look at those Christmas decorations that they have at the, uh, that we missed. We didn't look at all the decorations. So let's head over there now. So on the other side of this thousand dollar Christmas tree, they have some fall wreaths that are really pretty, but we're getting a little too close to the end of fall for that. But this wreath is really pretty. I really like this cranberry one. This one you could use for fall or for Christmas, it's $59.99, but it is super, super beautiful. Oh, these little trees are really pretty. $59.99 again for three white and one gold tree. You could get yourself a $100 Christmas ornament. This Christmas tree reminds me of my mom. We had a Christmas tree that was very similar to this growing up that had these little lights on it. It was a little bit littler, probably half the size. Oh, nostalgic holiday tree, $49.99. These reindeer are really pretty. They're $49.99. I really like the neutral type Christmas de decoration type things. I don't think that's exactly what I'm going for, but it is a really cute idea. Lot of Christmas gift ideas on this side, but I am not in the market for any of those. I'm really into burning candles in my house right now. That's very strong. Not just scented ones, but just plain ones to create a really cozy and warm environment. And I was just thinking this morning, I think for Christmas ideas, I want to attempt to make some candles myself. And I was looking at the items that you need online and I might go ahead and do that but I was just looking to see what Costco had to see if they had any that I needed to get for my house and these ones are way too strong it's a four pack for $19.99 but definitely not anything that I would want in my house too strong of a smell but this candle is beautiful it's huge it's $21.99 oh my goodness look at all those wicks in there that's amazing I would probably burn through that way too quickly with six wicks, but it is really beautiful. And I think that when we make the candles together, I'm going to use essential oils, not fragrances, just so that it doesn't bother people with the artificial fragrances. Another option are these glow wick candles, these artificial candles that have the lights. It's a six pack for $29.99, and you can actually choose the color, which is kind of interesting. They also come with a little wick that looks like it's burnt. That one doesn't turn on. And 12 batteries. You guys ever used these before? Oh, this one's broken. Those might be kind of fun. Those are definitely a safer option than a real candle, which is what I usually burn. I usually buy my candles at Ikea because they're really affordable. I'm having too much fun with those. Those are some really pretty reindeer for the front of your house for decoration. But I always wonder on something that's that big, where are you gonna end up storing that all year when you're not using it? Oh, these are cool. I saw these last year for the first time. These are the tree, instead of having a tree skirt, you have a tree basket. Now that is not my ideal style, but I've seen those in different um, like texture options. And that one is $65.99. And it's just a different look as opposed to having a tree skirt. I'm walking down the spice and like baking aisle of Costco and I have to say they have upped their game. We don't have a Sam's Club around here but I've watched people's Sam's Club like shop with me's and things. And Costco's always had a very limited spice bulk section. 
And there are so many new spices here that I've never seen before, and this is pretty cool, that are in bulk. I've never seen these freeze-dried variety packs before. There's garlic, parsley, and basil. Freeze-dried herbs, I can tell from my own experience. The flavor is so much superior to dried, that just way, way better. And then they have bulk Italian seasoning, chili powder, cumin, taco. They've always had taco seasoning, but I've never seen chili powder and cumin bulk at Costco before. And then they also have something that's new, I think, or at least I have never seen it, and that's organic brown sugar for $8.99. So it's a dollar point one nine a pound. And this is a 7.5 pound bag. The reason I started making my own brown sugar was because I couldn't find it affordably organic. And this is a great price for organic sugar, brown sugar. I'll probably just still make my own because it's easy and it's kind of like in my rotation. It's my part of my routine to do. But if you want some organic brown sugar, Costco seems to carry it now, which is awesome. Oh, and they have some bulk cocoa powder. I just bought that, so I don't need that. You can get a nice big bag of fair trade cocoa powder. This is a two pound bag for $9.59. That is a great price. One of my goals before baby comes is to do a bunch of pre-mixes, make them from scratch. I wanna make some brownie mixes, muffin mixes, cake mixes pancake mix and just have that ready to go so that all I'll have to do is add the wet ingredients and it'll be dump and go. And I'm just getting some different ideas by looking at the different things they have here at Costco. So we'll definitely be making brownie mix, muffin mix, pancake mix. And then let's see here. I need vanilla to make vanilla. That is $17.79 for, that's actually a pretty good price for that many vanilla beans. I normally buy my vanilla beans um, on Amazon, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just pick these up while I'm here. So it ends up being $1.79 per vanilla bean, which is actually a good price. Vanilla used to be about $30, it used to be about $2.50 per vanilla bean. This is something fun that I've never seen at Costco before. It's a hot sauce collection. That might be a fun Christmas gift for somebody. 12 hot sauces for $18.99. You all know I love hot sauce. I have plenty of hot sauce and I'm actually gifting a bunch of the hot sauce we made together to people in my family. But if you didn't make your own hot sauce to gift and you know someone who loves hot sauce, that might be a fun Christmas gift idea. So I wasn't gonna buy cream cheese at Costco because I need it for a bunch of different things because they normally only have those really big blocks and I can't go through that before it's gonna go bad. But now it looks like they have smaller packs, which is exactly what I want. It is $10.69 for six. And one thing that's gone up during this whole inflation thing is cream cheese has gotten so expensive. So I'm glad to find this. So if you don't know, I am a dental hygienist by profession. That is what I went to school for. And one thing that's gone up a ton in, during this inflation, not only cream cheese, but I've noticed toothbrushes. Last time I was at Kroger, it was $8.95 for an Oral-B cross-action toothbrush, which is my favorite toothbrush. And they have them here today for, thir well, they are normally $13.99 and they're $3 off, so they're $9.99, which makes it $1.66 per toothbrush. I'm gonna go ahead and get these. We do use electric, because that is the best for your teeth, but we like to have manual on hand as well. And last time I was at Costco, I forgot to pick these up and I'm glad I forgot because right now they are on sale and you wanna make sure you buy soft. So I'm gonna get a pack of these to have on hand. And then another thing while we're at it and talking about oral hygiene, I never, ever, ever recommend Glide Floss. Glide Floss is made out of plastic. It's one piece of plastic and it doesn't create enough friction to remove the plaque. You really need something that has some texture to it. And so Glide, glides over plaque, that's how you remember you wanna stay away from it because I notice when I would see patients sometimes for six, five years, beautiful care of their teeth, no bleeding, gums were healthy, and then they would come in and all of a sudden there would be gingivitis and different things going on. And my first question was, did you buy your floss at Costco? And is it Glide? Because Costco only, at least in my area, only sells Glide floss. And normally that would be yes. And if you're gonna go through the effort of flossing, just do yourself a favor and do not buy Glide 
because it glides over plaque. I really like these soft picks too. I use these a lot. If you think a toothbrush can only clean about 60% of a tooth, so that other 40% really isn't being cleaned unless we use some sort of interproximal cleaning device. So floss is the best, but I really like these proxy brushes or soft picks because you can use these on the go really easily. So enough about teeth. I came to Costco on a Monday morning because I thought it would be quieter. This is the craziest day I've been to Costco in a long time. What are your all's thoughts on Costco pizza? We are a divided household. Josh does not like it. I think it's so good. I just have really good memories of every time my mom and I would go to Costco growing up, we would always get cheese pizza. That was one successful Costco trip. I did put the wine glasses and those white bowls back. I had them in my cart and I thought, you know what? I just don't think I need them today. So they went back on the shelf and we got a bunch of other really good stuff. We'll do a whole haul when we get back to the house. That was so fun. I love going to Costco. I just have such good memories of going to Costco with my mom. And yeah, that was fun just to look around. I did, like I said, I put those two things back. I just don't think they're in need right now. So let's go to Winco. We only have to pick up a few small different grocery items there and then we're gonna head to Target. I did wanna mention though, before we get going too far, I did bring some snacks. I brought some Baby Bell cheese and I have an apple in here somewhere. Where's my apple? Right here, from home, so that I wouldn't be tempted to get Costco pizza or get takeout while I'm down in town. So I'm gonna eat my snacks on the way to the grocery store. It's definitely feeling like fall around here. I'm proud of myself, I brought my reusable bags in Washington State. We have to pay for our paper bags if we forget our own bags. I'm notorious for getting my own bags. So I have one, which is great because I don't need to get a lot of things in here. So we're gonna run into Winco, grab a few of the smaller type grocery items, and then we're gonna head to Target. We do not have an Aldi's in Washington State, and so Winco is kind of like the equivalent. It's a more affordable grocery store. It's an employee owned grocery store. So they don't, they carry all the same stuff that they carry at Kroger and Safeway and all those fancier grocery stores. They just don't display it as fancy. And that's one of the ways that they can kind of pass on that savings to the customer. So I really enjoy shopping at Winco. When I was in Costco, I was thinking chicken tetrazzini sounds so good. I haven't made it in so long but I didn't want to get a Costco pack of mushrooms because it's just too many mushrooms and I'm really notorious about having them go bad. So I'm going to get a package of pre-sliced. Normally I would buy the whole mushrooms and slice them myself, but when I look at the price per ounce, it's the same price per ounce sliced versus not. So I just saved myself a step. The cilantro is on the skippy side today. Usually the bunches are about twice this size, but we will make do with what they have. When I am buying something that is a cost per unit, like the herbs, cilantro, and these green onions. I just throw everything in the same bag because I also was getting some parsley as well. And then I just tell the cashier when I'm up there that I have, you know, X number of this and X number of that, and I just save on bags. So one good thing is Winco is fully stocked with all their jars for canning goods. And the only thing is I want some four ounce canning jars for gifts for Christmas. I'm not seeing any here and all the canning goods have gone up by about two to three dollars a box so it used to be about twelve dollars for a 12 pack of regular mouth quart jars and now it's 14.83 same with the pints used to be about twelve dollars and now they're 14.74 it is encouraging to see that they have jars and lids they just don't have the size that i want today I buy most of my canning jars at Goodwill and it's very rare that you find the, the four ounce jars. So I'll just keep my eyes peeled and see if I can find them later. They have them large elbow macaroni pasta. They don't always have them. So I'm gonna get two bags of these today. Is macaroni and cheese something that you guys have on your Thanksgiving table? We never had that growing up. 
but a couple years ago, Josh's dad had macaroni and cheese at Thanksgiving and it was so good. Something about that cheesiness because you don't really get cheese flavor on anything else that's on the Thanksgiving table. And so I think I might make some macaroni and cheese for Thanksgiving even though I wasn't asked to because I really enjoyed it that one time we had it at Josh's dad's. That was a really easy Costco trip and now Winco trip. I believe I got everything I needed for just groceries for Josh and I and then for the holiday cookie that we are gonna be doing together this week. Like I said, we have an appetizer, two entree or side dishes and a dessert we're gonna be baking. Progress is being made. We are all done grocery shopping as long as I bought everything. You know, sometimes I do forget things even though I did bring a list into both stores. Now we're gonna go do some fun shopping we're gonna go see if we can find a few table decorations. Those pine cones that I got, I am going to use some of those for some table decor too. So we are at the infamous Target. I try not to go in here very often because there's always so many goodies to find. But what I'm really looking for, and I'm super excited because I haven't bought any cloth napkins or placemats in probably four years, so it's time. And I, that's what I want. I want cloth napkins, maybe a table runner, uh, maybe some charger plates. And I kind of want to find something that's going to be neutral so that I can use it for different holidays. And maybe we just change out the, you know, like the flowers or we put some Christmas ornaments or something on the table to make it a little bit more, you know, Christmassy or Thanksgiving. We'll put the pine cones and leaves or something. I don't know. So we're here. Let's see what we can find. So right off the bat, we're gonna start at the dollar spot. I never look at this part of Target. Those are $3, they'll seem expensive for a little glass pumpkin. So let's see what we can find. So these are really cute, but it's $5 for that little thing. That seems kind of pricey for what it is. So we've got some greenery up here. And those are each $5 too, which Seems kind of pricey. This is a dollar. I like the gold because you could use that for a bunch of different holidays. You wouldn't have to just use that for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Little Christmas trees. And they have some bigger ones of the same type thing. I'm definitely finding some things that I like. Like these little white Christmas trees are really cute. They are one dollar each. And I could see that going down a table runner, even though we're, I'm supposed to be planning for Thanksgiving, not for Christmas. But then my frugality self comes into play and it's like, do we really need these for a dollar? They're so cute. I could totally see these with a black table runner going down the table because they have matte ones, they have shiny gold ones, and then they have shiny white ones. And then they have these in a larger size too. The larger ones are $3. Hmm. I think what I need to look for first is to see what table runners and table cloths we can find first. Well, look at what I just found. Some mini ornaments. This is $5. That's really cute too. Hmm. Last time I purchased napkins from Target, I got the Magnolia brand, and so I wanna see if she has any really pretty, kind of like neutrally napkins. The only cloth napkins I found in this line were pure white, these ones right here, and I thought, you know what? That's probably not gonna be good because they are gonna get stained quite a bit. This was a really pretty apron. I like kind of like that burlap linen look, and that's what the look was of these placemats, but that's not quite what I'm going for. So we're gonna to continue to look. I did see this table runner that is white, but it has quite a bit of texture to it. And I thought, you know what, this might be something that will work. I feel like that was a little bit of a bust. So let's go over where the rest of the tablecloths and table runners and all those types of things are. And maybe we can, I think I'm in the right spot now. Maybe we can find something Oh, here we go. Oh, this is, okay. This is exactly what we're looking for, I think. It seems like pretty slim pickings to me. There are quite a few options, but it's not really anything that I'm super going for yet. I haven't yet to find what 
exactly I don't even know exactly what I want but I know when I see it I am feeling these napkins they are hundred percent cotton and I'm looking for a nice neutral one one that will wash up well in the wash and one that won't I won't have to iron if I get it out of the dryer <laughs> right away because I've had napkins before that I have to iron and that is not ideal so I found these and I like these green ones they are ten dollars for four placemats the only thing is I'm not sure about how they would wash up but then I also thought that with these black napkins <laughs> these kind of like wicker ones were kind of cool and these are I think they're two dollars poly round yes two dollars and they have two four six eight hmm so i put a few things in my cart and we're going to think about it and what we need to go look for next are some bath mats so that is where we're heading to next and we are going to see if we can find we need a bath mat for the master bathroom and one for the guest bathroom. And actually, now that I think about it, we will eventually need a bath mat for the other guest bathroom, but that will be down the road because we haven't even started finishing that remodel project upstairs yet. The master bathroom, I have just been putting a towel on the floor, and so it will feel like a nice upgrade when we have a designated bath mat to put our feet on getting out of the shower. And for some reason, this seems to be a very, very complicated decision for me to make today. This should not be this difficult, but I cannot decide on which bath mat I want. I need to get two, one for each bathroom, because I've been taking baths in the big bathtub, and there's no bath mat right now. So which one would you pick? I think I want one that's a little bit more feminine for the guest bathroom, that's where we have the green paint. So I'm kind of leaning towards this one. And then for the master bath outside the shower, maybe something a little bit more simple and plain, maybe something just like that. But this really shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> I also need to get a shower curtain for the bathtub too, because there's no shower curtain around that bathtub. That was super productive. It took me a long time in there, just like rearranging different options. I bought a couple extra things. Woo, it's wet out here. But what we're gonna do when we get home is I'll play around with it and then we will return whatever ends up not working. So I wanted to get a little bit more than I thought I might need so that I can just take back whatever doesn't end up working. I do think though I fulfilled my mission on Getting neutral things that I'm gonna be able to use for different holidays so it's not nothing that screams Christmas or Thanksgiving or spring fall winter except for those little I did get those little $1 Christmas trees <laughs> but I just got a couple of those everything else depending on what I pair with it I'll be able to use it all year round which is what I wanted and then I was able to find a few items for that guest bathroom, which we desperately needed. All right, I think I can close my car. So I'm gonna drive home. We had a busy day. I don't do big shopping days like this very often and that was a lot of fun. I'm gonna go home and I think we're gonna say goodbye right now and I will film an entire haul and we are gonna cook dinner together tonight. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing because that will be the next video so you can see all the goodies that we got and we can cook dinner together. If you enjoyed this video, I can pop a couple of my other videos right here. You can go enjoy between now and my next upload. I wanna say thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. I greatly appreciate every single one of you, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, friend.